I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. I am sharing with you a question which is normally the very first question in your test paper. We need to express vectors, sum of vectors or difference of vectors as a single vector. So let us see how to do it. Here are two questions based on this concept. The question here is, simplify and write each of the following vector vectors expressions as a single vector. PQ minus QR plus RS is equal to what? And the vector PS plus RQ minus RS minus PQ is equal to what? Now what you need to remember here is just two things. First, always consider that you're going in one direction, right? So if you are going in one direction, you should write all vectors with positive sign. This is very important, right? Same sign, positive sign. Second, what you should know is that if I am writing vector A to B, it means if I want to change this to B to A, then it will be with a negative sign since the direction reverses, right? So that's what it is. Normally, what do we do? Normally, if you are given vector P to Q with a negative sign here, then it really means I could write this as positive Q to P, right? So that is the kind of change which you have to make. Once you do that, then these kind of questions are very, very simple. Let us see how. A, from P to Q, so this vector is from P to Q, then from R to Q and R to S. That is how you have to understand. So first step here is to write all vectors with positive sign. We have a vector here with negative sign, negative R Q. So I'll reverse this and make it positive. So I could write this vector as PQ plus QR. So what have I done here? I have changed the sign, right? From RQ, I made it QR, so it becomes negative of whatever it was. So I have a positive sign. Then we have RS right there. Now, we are going from P to Q and then from Q to R. Where do you land? If you go from P to Q and then Q to R, this makes it P to R, correct? Plus R to S. And now P to R and R to S means the end point is at S starting with P, right? I could have written directly after this step P to Q, Q to R, R to S means P to S. You get the idea, right? So uh, since it is the very first example, we are going kind of in steps which are kind of important to understand. So I hope now you understand how easy it is to write some or difference of vectors as a single vector. Okay? Let's adopt the same method here and try to figure it out. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question and then check with my solution. So the first step again is change these two and make them positive. How could you do it? write RS as SR and PQ as QP, right? So we'll write this as vector PS plus RQ plus, since I change the sign, I'll have to write it in the reverse direction, S to R plus Q to P, perfect. So that is my first step. Now, we have to make some kind of connection. We started with P, we are at S, now what? I'm looking that SR is there, so we'll rearrange, right? So we write this as P to S, and I'm bringing this SR first, so from S to R, and now I'm at R. From R, I can go to Q, so it is R to Q. Do you see how rearranging helps? And then Q to P. So as you can see, from P, we land at P, back to P, right? So so from P, we are coming back to the vector P, right? So you started from a point and you're back at the same point. 
This really means that the result is a zero vector, correct? So you have to write zero vector as your answer. You landed up just at the point from where you started. Think like this. In our line, let's say this point is P, then we have Q, and then, so, I mean, in this case, let's draw it. So we have P, from P we are going to S, and then S we are going to R, and then from R we are going to Q, and then from Q we are returning back to P. Do you see that? So the vector is difference between the final and initial position, which is exactly the same. Therefore, it is a zero vector. Perfect. So again, it is important to write zero vector, right? So this arrow on the top shows that this zero is not a scalar quantity. It is a vector quantity. Perfect. So that is how you're going to solve it. Now here is your question for practice. Let me write down here. So a practice question. So in a practice question, which is also from previous test paper, here is a combination which you have to write as a single vector, right? So that is what I have given from E to U, E to P, P to U with negative signs here. So first step is to change this to positive and then figure out the answer. Perfect. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. And solution of this particular question, if you write in comments, that will be much better. Thanks and all the best.